back to Cosplay for All. We are at our meet and greet session. Uh, as you know, I'm Ian. We've got Whitney over here and Megan. And we're actually introducing somebody new, somebody none of us I don't think have met yet. Um, Sarah here is our featured cosplay for the day. And she's in her Anastasia costume. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello, I'm Sarah Thompson. Um, he said I'm in my Anastasia costume, which I just finished an hour ago, so wow. yay. Nice, it's awesome, <laughs> it's this. pretty. So yeah, thank you. So how much effort, or effort, uh, time did you put into making this costume? Well, I started off with the bodice, which took um, about a day or two. What's a bodice? That's <laughs> <weird. It's laughs> <hard>. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, song terminology. No, you're fine. I, I should probably know that. I'm just not I'm being clarifying stuff. for people who don't know. It's not always a good thing. <laughs> right. Well, then after the bodice, I took a break, which was about a week. But then I started off for another week, and then just today I finished everything. So I would say about three weeks. That's nice. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Just on and off. About how many hours do you think? Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things, if you don't keep track of it, it kind of just slips yeah, away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it looks really good. I mean, Thank congratulations. You. I know you've got a lot Seriously. of a lot of Disney-type ones. Do you have oh, any yeah. other ones you want to? Well, I have done many Disney girl characters. I have done Ariel. I have done Tinkerbell. Belle. I've also done Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I just finished a Meg costume as well, which I will be wearing soon. So yeah, your Tinkerbell is one of my favorites. Oh, thank Before the you. show, we were we were going through all these pictures of her costumes, and it got to Tinkerbell. And we were all like, oh. "Yeah." <laughs> I saved my oh, for Belle just because that one was, she's yeah. always been my favorite, right? and a good Belle is hard yeah. to find. I want to see your egg. Yeah, yeah, I want to see it too. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Well, I'll be doing it soon. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's one costume that I want to make in the future. Oh, it's which so makes much sense. fun. I mean, I also want to make it. But <laughs> it makes more sense for you being, you know, Meg. <laughs> so, so do you, like, uh, hand sew everything? I don't hand sew. I machine sew because if I hand sewn everything, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have had any motivation at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I just sew everything. Sometimes, you know, I resort to... Hot glue, but you know, that's <laughs> only you know. If you cannot get by yeah. as a cosplayer without hot glue. Let's just yeah. throw that out it's there. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's the oh, thing. Well, got to do this. I mean, the cons tomorrow. <laughs> Might as well. You know, it's. We were just yeah. talking about stuff like that. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. So, what's your um, like accessories made out of? Is it all fabric, or do you have any other supplies um, in it? Well, actually, this crown, I mean, it looks a little awkward um, when you come up close to it, but I actually, it's just sparkly craft foam that I got from Hobby Hobby, and I just glued it together and Perfect. cut out the shape, and wow, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Craft thank foam, you. another supply trying. that you can't do without. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she walked in the room and everyone was just like... We we do a lot of gasping when we yeah. when we look at her costumes. Apparently, it's so sparkly and pretty. Well, it's because yeah. I mean, I know at least from mine and Whitney's perspective, <laughs> the costumes that we do, they have so much craziness going on that. It's just nice to see a really beautiful costume oh, no. without having to put any effort into it myself. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's actually very true. I, I agree with you on that one. Something? I was like, yeah, what are you looking at? <laughs> so uh, when it comes to your costumes, what is one costume that you've always wanted to do that you're planning on doing in the future? Like a dream costume. Ooh. All the Disney princesses. <laughs> Eventually, I can't just pick one because they're all my favorite. Well, Belle's my ultimate favorite, but I still have smart choice. Yeah. You've done the the yellow dress version. Have you yes. done the um, like the village version of Belle? As I well? have as well. <coughs> yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh, oh my god. I want to see. What about like the you Christmas probably version? Probably don't. <laughs> oh yeah, the Christmas oh. one. No, I'll tell you one you don't want to see. So. At a charity event, I did a an Aladdin. <laughs> you did? It is the worst picture you've ever seen in your life. How can I've never seen it? It's horrible. It's horrible. 
I'll, I'll, I'll let the Disney stay with you because it's it's just please. not good for me. Please, actually but, made a jasmine top, so oh, really? I haven't finished my pants yet. If but. I did another one, I'd probably do the Prince Ali version because that's so much yes. fun. I just did the street rap version. So yes. Let me know and I'll finish my jasmine. Nice. That would be cool. I have so many to do it with. So uh, you said you started about five years ago. What, what got years you ago. into cosplay? Oh, well, it was just, you know, I went online a lot when I was younger and I saw, you know, this weird thing of people in wigs, you know, different colored hair. What's that? Um, and I found out it's cosplay and um, I know I'm a little <laughs> embarrassed to say this, but I got into it through anime starting nothing out. Wrong nothing wrong with that. Okay, <laughs> great, because that's what got me into it. But My then, first costume was anime, so <laughs> I can't say anything. My first well, costume was, was technically too, anime. Yeah. <laughs> what was yours? Uh, mine? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to know. Yes, <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'll, tell you mine. I'll tell you my first if you tell me your first. Uh, okay. <laughs> you probably wouldn't know. It's from a very, very girly anime. Okay. <laughs> um, it wasn't very good. Um, I didn't have a wig, and I wish I did. Okay. It was the night before, and I thought, wow, there's a convention tomorrow. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll cosplay. And what is this weird thing? Oh, cosplay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was totally done the night before. I had, you know, my long hair goes, goes down to here, but her hair goes up here and it's pink, and that did not work out, and I look so awkward. What was the costume? <laughs> Have you heard of Shugo Kara? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, before I got into cosplay, I was the dude who sat in the room and watched all the movies and anime shows. Like, that's what I did. Okay, so, yes. So we, can, we can talk later. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. My right. first one was Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a good one. We'll, we'll, we'll trade stories. <laughs> we'll, trade, we'll trade pictures. This, okay. this will be good times. Um, so, Halloween's coming up. Do you yeah. usually do anything for Halloween? What do you have planned for that? As far as oh, costumes well, or anything? Usually I, you know, in my neighborhood I'm known for staying indoors and doing whatever, but then I come out and um, on Halloween I show off what I've been doing and everybody's just like, oh, that's what she's been doing inside her house. <laughs> and so, yeah, and I think that's amazing. And, you know, all the little girls love it. I mean, there was one time where I was Ariel and this neighborhood girl, it's actually after... Um, photo shoot I did with them, um, this little girl um, saw me and she thought I was the real thing and she couldn't stop bugging me, it was the cutest thing. <laughs> so yeah, um, other than Halloween, I have another convention coming up, it's called Anime Bonsai. Yeah, yeah. sweet, yeah. sweet. Yeah. sweet. hopefully I'll see you there. Yeah, awesome, <laughs> I'm doing a couple of cosplays there including this, Meg and Powerpuff Girls. Oh, oh cool, so, sweet. Is yes. it a group costume or mm -hmm. oh, perfect? Yeah. Nice. Which one are you? I'm Blossom. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, we actually sweet. had it set up because me and Whitney are part of a cosplay group and at one point, yeah. I don't know whatever happened to it, but we were going to do <laughs> like post-apocalyptic Powerpuff Girls. Oh my gosh, And I was so going to cool. do the professor. Have oh like my bombs goodness. of like sugar spice and everything nice on my belt. Yeah. It was gonna be fun. We should probably you guys resurrect. Should, yeah. that. Should bring that. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, so we got to talking about anime. What got you into it? Mm -hmm. uh, bringing up anime bonsai. What would you say your favorite anime is? My favorite anime. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of them, but. I'd have to say I owe it all to, tell me if you know one, Tokyo Mew Mew, because it's the first one that got me into cosplay. I'd have to say no, I don't know that one. Okay, well you need to watch I've it. I've heard okay. of it, but oh, I It sounds familiar, it. yeah. It's very girly, it's the typical magical girl anime. See, there's so some really, really good ones out there. Yeah. like. Vampire Rosario. Oh my god. That's a really good girl. That one. Magical, you need to. It's, you it's need crazy, to. but it's, anime is crazy. That's why yeah, it's so that's awesome. That's why it's amazing. <laughs> See, Attack on Titan is my favorite one. Oh my gosh. It's I, probably my favorite of the newer anime. Yeah, yeah. I was never a big anime person, like beyond Pokemon. I wasn't really <laughs> like into it, but like lately in recent years, I've just been like picking them up. It's because of Netflix. Netflix just. Yes. It's yes. Everything is so accessible. Yes. <laughs> So as far as, um, I mean, I guess we're all here for cosplay purposes anyway. <laughs> uh, 
Tell me, what was probably the most expensive costume you ever made, and what was the most difficult costume you ever made? Well, the most expensive must have been my aerial cosplay okay. that I made. Um, it was a lot of fine fabric. Um, I mean, the sleeves were very delicate as well. So the and aerial, not with the tail aerial? No, not the dress, the turquoise okay. dress, yeah. Oh, okay. Her new one that's very, very sparkly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and the most difficult one, I mean, other than Tinkerbell because of her wings, it would probably have to be this one because I made my own pattern. Oh, oh cool. wow. Yeah, so... What? Yep. Let's it's just insane. say my mom's a seamstress has been for 35 <laughs> years, and she won't touch anything without a without yeah. a pattern. Oh, really? So that's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. That's really impressive. Well, that's kind of... I just duct taped myself, you know, up, and then I cut it out and laid it out in the pattern that I wanted. That's smart. And it worked. So. We use duct tape to make patterns for armor, so I, I guess yeah. it could work the hey, same there, way. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. So you are saying about your, your wings, what was what made them so difficult? Well, it was just the whole idea of, you know, bringing to life those Tinkerbell wings. I mean, you know, in the new movies, they're like almost see-through. Getting it right. Yeah, yeah, getting it right. And my old ones, they were used up as cardboard material, and I put like shiny plastic over it. I don't know what the right word is. Mm -hmm. But this time I did it... Uh, the most recent one, I did it a little bit better. I actually got the shape right. I got the full wings done. I got That's the cool. designs on there. And I actually did that with fabric. So <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> nice. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're like a, a Disney princess, that's something that's very recognizable to oh, yeah. everyone. Do you oh, yeah. find yourself getting into character when you cosplay? Oh, yeah. Of course. I Bring mean, in the magic. The point? <laughs> nice. Cosplay. You gotta Playing be in costume. Yeah. See, and I've noticed a lot of people, they they call it cosplay, but they, they just dress up. And I mean, there's no problem with that. Yeah. But I find I pick the best costumes when I pick a character I want to play. It's like you get to right. embody that person. Yes. It was um, yeah. with, with Piccolo. I stayed in character the whole time. People would <laughs> ask me for questions and I'd just be like, if you are like... Uh, pictures and I just if you must and they're like geez Piccolo, it's calm funny down. because I met him um doing an in doing cosplay interviews yeah. and when I interviewed him as Piccolo he started screaming <laughs> on the camera it's, you gotta and I was, up, man. I was like wow this guy's really into it <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that it was him until, gosh, like a year later. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh I think God. we figured it's quite out. It's convincing. I think we are figured it out actually in one in of these. In this room during <laughs> during a podcast. So. Um, so, so go ahead. So you do a lot of Disney princess uh, costumes. Have you ever considered being a real Disney princess? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> it's which, been my which dream. one would you do? Um, or audition I would... for. Well, they usually, you know, I've researched this, so they usually <laughs> tell you, you know, up front what Disney princess you'd be. But if I had my choice, it would be Belle because I feel like I match her personality and look so well. So, you know, yeah, I would love it because even now, I mean, seeing the little girls, I mean, my friends even say, they, you know, they say you're Sarah, you know, for one second, but they see a little girl running up to you and you snap back into character. Mm -hmm. And I just love it. I love seeing the little girls. They make my day. I mean, I might, you know, make their hour, but they make my week. So oh, I'm glad it's you true. said that because yeah. that's kind of the general consensus for at least the people in this room. It's it's yeah. the kids yeah, that yeah. make yes. all of this worth it. Mm -hmm. yes. You can have fun and you can put time and energy into a costume. But when that one kid comes up to you and thinks you're a real Disney princess oh, yeah. or that yes. one kid dressed as Batman comes up to my Riddler and says Batman can beat you any day like that's the <laughs> best moment it's because you have the, yeah. that appreciation for those characters mm -hmm. and once someone acknowledges that and it's they're usually these are characters from our childhood more mm -hmm. often than not and so when there is a child who identifies with that it just makes it so much mm -hmm. it's so much cooler that way yeah. right yeah definitely yes. I think it's amazing too when other adults get into character with you, mm -hmm. that's the best mm -hmm. as well. So you play a lot of the, um, of like the heroes and the princesses. Would I you do. ever consider being a villain? Oh my gosh. Well, I have actually considered being Poison Ivy. I'm not sure about it yet, but my friends want to do, you know, a villain group. That would be cool. Um, 
But yeah, I just I don't see myself as a villain. <laughs> I'm too nice. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun. She is a real life Disney princess. <laughs> Um, See, I love uh, Snow White, and I'm actually getting yes. that costume commissioned. <laughs> and uh, uh, I also want to be the evil queen from Snow White. Like, I just want to mm-hmm. be all those characters, but it'll be like a, a like a 50-50. I don't know. I love yeah. being the bad guy because I'm not the bad guy very often. It's true. Right. And I have a Snow White, and all I want to do is be the evil queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, when it comes down <laughs> to it. Everybody's got the, the the playing aspect of cosplay, the getting into character. Uh, everybody's got characters that they're like. Mm-hmm. Are do you have any character that you want to cosplay just off of the idea that you haven't done yet, just off of the idea that you're similar to this character? I know you said you're a lot. You see yourself a lot like Belle. Is there anybody else? Yeah. Um. I'm not sure. I do see myself kind of as Elsa, but she is very overdone. Even though I'd love to do her. Uh, just, just just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> but um Sorry, I had to get a I had to get a weird dad joke in there. I'm not yeah. a dad. So and then outside of about. cost uh going to conventions, do you wear your costumes anywhere else? Um, sometimes. I mean, I wore my arrow dress once to a charity event. Um, sometimes, you know, my friends, I know this is weird, but sometimes we just hate each other up and you're just like, we haven't cosplayed in a while, let's go outside and, you know, go cosplay. That's awesome. (laughs) Honestly, by doing that, it's, you know, gotten me enough resistance from the evil stares I get that I'm able to do it anytime, any day, anywhere, so... Yeah. Nice. Well, Sarah, thank you for coming. Thanks well, for thank being you. here. Um, it obviously looks really great. I think the bow's probably my favorite part of this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys can't see it, but you probably will be able to at some point. Um, on that note, I know you did a photo shoot uh, with Cosplay for All. Yeah. And so at the same time this is going to be released, there's going to be a link somewhere on this for Around. her. For her uh, photo shoot. So uh, take a look at those pictures. Uh, Again, Sarah, thank you for being here. Thank you. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Cosplay for All podcast. The Cosplay for All podcast is part of the Whatever Makes You Weird Network. One of these days we'll get around to tell you what that is. This particular episode was produced by Trevor Nielsen and Tim Bennett. Your host today was Ian of Alien Cosplay. The spotlight guest was Sarah Thompson. And panelists include Megan Golden and Whitney of Zabrica's Cosplay. If you enjoyed this podcast, we'd love to hear from you at questions at cosplayforall.com. We'd also appreciate it if you'd review us on iTunes and like us on Facebook and Twitter. You can find links to find all these things in the show notes below. Thanks for listening and have a great day.